Hi everyone, Cheeky Tan here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing an American taste test. John has generously sent me this massive great big box of treats from America. This has actually been examined by US Customs. Isn't that interesting? I hope they had fun having a look around in here. Oh, I can't before it. Can you see anything? I can't. Have a look at all of this. Oh, there are some good looking things in here. I'm going to have to divide this up because obviously I cannot eat this all in one go. So let's divide this up and do an American test. I'm just doing a quick little snapshot because I thought you'd like to see that on Instagram. Whether I'll post it on Instagram is another story. Terrified of social media does social media. Work that out. So as you can see I have divided it up into different lots. So let's do an American taste test. Wearing my Chicago Cubs shirt today. Just like the color of it really. I don't actually go for the Chicago Cubs although I'm sure they're very good. Go Chicago Cubs! I oh, don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry. First up we have something from Sweet Chaos and it's Honey Chipotle Popcorn. It says delightfully disruptive. I'm going to pour it out into this little bowl to give you a look at it. Oh! Yes, look at that. It looks nicely flavoured, doesn't it? And it's interesting that it's honey and chipotle. I wonder how that's going to work. Well, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice and smoky tasting. Mm. There's a little bit of honey, but it sort of pops in to say, hi, how are you going? After you've finished the chipotle and then the chili comes back at you again and you're going, what's happening? Oh, you're hot. Oh, the heat's building up on me. I thought they weren't that hot at first and now I can really feel that heat and it's actually quite disruptive, delightfully disruptive. The more I say disruptive, the harder the word gets. Sometimes I'm very aware of my Australian accent. I wonder if the people out there that just can't understand me, let me know in the comments below if sometimes you've just got no idea on what I'm saying because I don't. Why should you know? The flavor in this one's pretty good. They are very, very spicy, a lot spicier than what I thought. There is honey in there, but then it gets taken over by the chili because the chili kicks back at you again. The popcorn itself is a little bit squeaky, but flavor-wise, it's good. Mm. Oh, see, I can taste honey hot. Yeah, it's an interesting flavor. You swallow and then you really, really feel that chili. Rollo dark salted caramel flavor. Quite pretty. Look at the color of this. Little individually wrapped rollos. They look gorgeous. And I, oh gosh, see ya. Oh yes. How cute is that? A little tiny cup. Oh. Mmm. I love it. Mmm. That's good. The dark chocolate's nice in combination with that caramel. The caramel, I can't taste too much saltedness about it, but it is there. The flavor is really good. The texture of this one is really good. So it's a flowing caramel. It's absolutely delicious. I love these. Oh, yum. That's so good. Lay Stacks Mesquite Barbecue Flavor. Have a look. Oh, look at all that flavor on there. American savory snacks are just so good. So much flavor is packed into this. They're lovely and salty. And then they've got that lovely sort of barbecue smokiness about them as well. Mmm. Mmm. I like the texture on the lay stacks a little bit better than I like the Pringles. I know that's wrong because Pringles are really popular, but for me, I think the flavor in these is a little bit better as well. Love these. Yum. Calories and stuff on the back there if you're interested. 140. Is that a serve? Per serving. Then it's going to tell me a serving is what I've just had. These are really delicious. Purina Friskies with gravy glazed chicken. That sounds pretty fancy for my little street kitties. So I'll open it up. Oh, you know what's scary about these? You always worry you're going to spill it on yourself. It is a terrifying moment. We've all experienced it if we have pets. Oh, it looks absolutely gross. Oh, yo. No, it doesn't smell too bad, actually. I mean, I'm not done want to eat it or anything. Let's see if Buffy and Hissy like this one. Hopefully, I won't get a hissing, but you never know. She's got a little bit of a cranky face on, so that's a bit worrying. Buffy, I've got food. Yeah, Hissy interested as usual. You might like this, honey. John got this for you. Thank you, John. Oh no, it's not going to come out. How am I going to get it out of here with one hand? Oh, yep, yeah, good. Let's see. Oh, she's straight into it. This one is very popular and Hissy is licking the container out of my other hand here. <laughs> That's all the way from America. I hope you appreciate it. Do you want to try it? Well, you can't. 
because little Miss Piggy faces into it. I'm sorry to do this to you, sweetie, but I just want to see if Hissy likes it. Sorry. Hey, Hissy, what do you think? Oh man, why'd I even bother? <laughs> nope, okay. So that is a no from Hissy. No? No? Hissy? Oh, finally. That was an anxious moment. I thought it wasn't going to happen. Okay, so that's a yes from both of them. Fantastic! It's so hard to find something that they like. Mind you, if they went to the supermarket and got a whole lot, they suddenly wouldn't like it, because that's how cats work. Next up, we've got tuna in a can, but it's not just tuna in a can. It's Brunswick Ranch Tuna Salad, naturally flavoured with crackers. Oh, no. <laughs> with crackers, not flavoured with crackers, as you can see. So you get a little can of tuna and crackers. Oh, look at this. I get a spoon in there as well. So if you've got no time at all, you just grab one and out the door you go and you're as happy as. You're as happy as Larry. Although I don't know how many people are named Larry these days. Have a look at what I've got in here. Be excited. It's a box. World's cutest little spoon. Crackers, tuna. It's got a pull tab. Oh, I hate this. Oh, oh goodness. The texture of this, hey? Isn't that interesting? Let's have a look at the crackers. How many do you get in here? You get five crackers inside. Is that enough for this? Yeah, that's probably enough for it. Put it on. Oh, sorry, I keep digging that bowl. Oh goodness, there are some things in here which I don't really understand. It says it's with ranch, but there's other things in there as well, because look at that, that's a red bit and a green bit. What are they? Calories 100, calories, why do I keep reading calories now? Ingredients, do you want me to read that? You know what I do when I forget my glasses? I use my Zoom on my phone to have a look at it. I'm that lazy, yes. It's got mayonnaise, egg yolks, it's got sugar, celery. Celery, oh, that's interesting, buttermilk. What's the red thing? Dehydrated onion salt doesn't tell me. Tuna, obviously. Vegetable broth. Oh, carrots. Contains carrots. There you go. Far out. I was starting to worry because I thought, I've got a red thing and it doesn't tell me I've got a red thing. It's awkward. Probably me. Because I'm trying to do it one-handed because I'm trying to show you it. And it's not easy. Hmm. I don't mind this. has that little bit of sourness from the buttermilk in this. I don't know if it particularly tastes ranchy to me. It tastes a little bit mayonnaise-y. There's a little bit of sweetness in here, I think, that I wasn't expecting. Mmm. Mm. I don't know. It's okay. It would keep you alive. I think I just prefer normal straight tuna, though, than this stuff that's mixed up with it. And it's lovely that they're calling this a salad. Is it a salad? Well, it does have carrots and it does have celery, so... I guess that's considered a salad. Yeah, it's okay. The tuna itself is nice. The cracker is nice too. It's very plain, which is what you want if you've got something like this to put on top of it. Yeah. No, it's good that it's ready to go when you are. Time for a beverage break, and today I have an RC Cherry Cola. Natural and artificially flavoured from Royal Crown Cola. On the go. Six drinks in a pack. I'll show you the sticks. There they are. Sticks. I've got a bottle of water, but I don't want to put it in here because I can't be bothered washing this out. So is it all right if I just sort of put some water in here and then mix a little bit of that stuff in? Of course it's okay. I don't know why I asked for permission because I've already put the video up, so obviously I'm doing it. I'm just incredibly polite and it drives me nuts and it drives others nuts. Just hold some back so we don't put too much in. There it goes. Wow, look at that brownness. Mix it up. It's very interesting having something that's cola flavoured, but it's not sparkly. Oh, I can smell cherry straight up. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This one is sugar free, and I can taste it straight off. Sometimes with sugar-free drinks, I don't notice, but this one I can. When I'm getting that cola flavor, I'm really liking it, but then that cherry also takes hold of it and takes over. And to me, the cherry flavor is a little bit, a little bit too chemically tasting. The cola taste in it is good. The cherry flavor in it, not so good. And I feel like it tastes a little bit artificial like. It might be just because I'm not enjoying the cherry flavor. But if you're into cherry cola, I think you'd like it. And look at the color of it. I mean, it looks like cola, but it's just not. Hmm. 
Oh, see, I'm really thirsty because I went for a 5k walk, and um, I think I prefer to just have water. Oh no, actually no, the flavour of the cola though is good in this. Yeah, Chex Mix, and it's matched jalapeno chili, chili lime Chex pieces, jalapeno cheddar Chex Mix. Oh, oh, so many things about this to love because you've got all of this variety inside here, and it's going to be a little bit spicy, and it's going to be cheesy. Pour this into a bowl to give you a closer look at it. Oh, there are some fiery looking bits in here. So you've got like a little Chexy thing there. There's a spicy looking one. There's a cheesy looking one. There's a pretzely bit. This is a good mixture. I am loving playing with this a lot. Little pretzely thing. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Oh, that's a little window pretzel. Oh, the chili's so hot for this little one. Mmm. Oh, it's nice and cheesy, but it's so hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't know. This one looks like fire itself, so I'm really concerned about this one. Ugh. Oh, my head's hurting. I like the savouriness of this, and I can taste a little bit of cheese, but it's getting taken over by the chilli. I can't taste a lot of lime, because once again, it's being taken over by the chilli. And um, I feel like my nose is going to run. <laughs> Two flavours, one intense taste. Well, yes, it's very intense. Too. I can't even really notice jalapeno in it necessarily. I just taste chilli in this, I swear. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this and let me know what you think. But, oh, that's so hot. There's a little cracker in here as well. Mmm. I really like the little cracker. Oh, it's hot. This thing here, that is like fire itself. And oh, I keep getting that weird little hot, weird tingly bit at the back of my head every time I have it because it's that spicy. They're nice, but just too chilly-like. Next up, I've got some beautiful little wafers in a tin, and for some reason, it's got this adorable bear that looks like he's done something wrong. He looks guilty as Harriet Claridge Cute Character Collection. So these are collectibles for someone who really likes bears. I've actually got a friend that likes bears a lot. One time as a present for me, it was very nice of her. She got me a bear, which I don't mind bears. I got, well, I've got one right here, haven't I? And I'm wearing a Chicago Cubs t-shirt. She got me a bear, but it was in a dress, like a little holly hobby sort of cutesy dress, and it even had a bonnet on it. Sometimes you just got to be polite and say thank you very much and be very grateful for gifts. I'm just not really into bears with dresses, you know? But the little girl next door loved it. <laughs> Luxury cappuccino wafers. Wow, this tin it comes in is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. It's got a little bear on the top as well. So adorable. Horrible, you just want to vomit. Sticky tape on it, just get that off. Pack it inside. You can keep this for later. I don't know what I'm going to keep in it, but I'm, I'm sure I'll find something and I'll think what's in that and I'll surprise myself later on. Have a look. Oh, they smell absolutely divine. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. That light, crispy, flaky wafer on the outside is super sweet and the texture is really good. And then you've got that beautiful cappuccino creamy stuff inside there. The flavor is really spot on for these. And the texture is really good as well. Mmm, light and crispy and flaky. I love these. And you get a cute little can to keep as well. Next up, I have a nut roll from Pearson's, and I've tried a nut roll before. This one is a different flavor. It's apple pie flavor. How good does that sound? Apple flavor joins peanuts, caramel, and nougat for a nut roll slice of fall heaven. Doesn't that sound delightful? Last time I had one, I was in love with it, and it was a cinnamon flavor, and I still loved it. Doesn't want to come out. It's sort of stuck in there. I don't want to rip it in half. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. Break this in half to show you the middle. It smells good. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's got a beautiful apple flavor in it. It isn't over the top. It's just the right amount of apple flavor in there. The nougat's really good. Then it's got caramel and peanuts. 
There's a slight hint of cinnamon in there. And I love that the peanuts themselves are salty as well. So you got sweet, a little bit of salty in there. The texture's really good. If we had these here, I would get them. Yum. Let me know in the comments below if you've had one of these before and what's your favorite flavor there. Yum. Next thing is from Lagano. It's from Brazil. It comes in this beautiful little box. Strawberry cream filled premium white chocolate truffles. Oh my gosh. The box feels um, interesting. This feels smooth and this feels a little rough so I just really like feeling this <laughs> look at the cover I mean are they really going to be this gorgeous and beautiful inside let's hope so ah oh, oh, bring them all out to show you I don't know why I have to show you all of them but there they are there they go oh yes honestly that's exactly how I wanted them to look it's so pretty looks exactly like the cover the white chocolate on the outside is quite thick but it's nice and it's very very sweet strawberry flavor in it probably a little bit too subtle but still very tasty i love the combination of the strawberry and the white chocolate together this is super sweet disgustingly beautiful <laughs> very nice <laughs> thank you so much john for sending all these amazing treats i really do appreciate it and if everyone in the comments below could please thank john because without him this taste test would not be possible and make sure you stay tuned because there's more american taste tests coming up yay have a fantastic week everyone thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye